So the UK is officially out of recession, but how long will it take before everyday businesses feel the effects? The growth which took place between October and December was a measly 0.1%, way below predictions, and experts warn a relapse and the chances of a double dip recession are acute. In short, there's a long way to go. For those who are unemployed, the families waiting for houses, the employees who've had their hours reduced and those who've taken a pay cut. However, a poll for the independent newspaper found almost half of business leaders that were interviewed detected some signs of green shoots in their sector. It's revealed a slight leap in economic optimism. But is this the case on the ground? Now, Martin Barry ran a butcher's in Charlton Village, but it had to close because of the downturn. They're just trying to tell you something to keep you sweet, to stop you, you know, campaigning against them. Obviously, they want to stay in power, this government, so they could pull in all the tricks under the sun. So, no, it's not fair on, on the small businesses. And this is Jacani Maxoy, who runs a hair and beauty salon in central London. Actually, we just shut our beauty salon at the moment because uh, most of the people can't afford to have beauty sessions. Um, even when it comes to hair, I'm thinking to drop down my uh, prices. It's going to be down so soon. because People find it so expensive now. Not too much optimism there, is there? Whilst Gordon Brown will be relieved that the UK experienced some growth, albeit very, very tiny, it's still going to be a while before cash is made more readily available. The high street is probably going to have to weather the storm for a little while longer.